Live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reinforce 2019. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services and its ecosystem partners. Okay, hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Boston with theCUBE's coverage of AWS, Amazon Web Services, reinforced their inaugural conference, getting into the security event business because the customers are here and it's growing like crazy. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We are two guests of a hot startup called Valix, Vishal Jain, CEO, and Brian Lazier, Chief Product Officer, Valtix. You guys just launched out of Stealth. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys got some good pedigree I hear in the company. Yeah. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. Okay, so first of all, before we get into the conference, which I think is very relevant, you guys are, are getting out there. What do you guys do? What is Voltix all about? What is the core uh, problem you solve? Why start this company? What's the value proposition? Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, Voltix is building the first cloud native network security platform. So before we start a company, you talk to a lot of customers. And we talked to customers and we saw the cloud is real. You can see here, cloud is real, and uh, we saw that network security uh, have challenges in how they scale in the cloud. And that's mainly because of three things. If we look at that, uh, main thing is that the cloud is sprawling. Uh, the data center used to be like three and four, now the customers, as we heard in the morning in the keynote, they have suddenly one, then 10, 100, and 100 VPCs. So it's a new logical parameter you're seeing. Second thing we saw was that the apps are agile. And the third thing is security is always falling behind DevOps. So if you want to make network security to be uh, scaled with the apps. So you're saying level up the security apps piece to the DevOps pace. So DevOps is kind of pushing things really fast. You mentioned uh, cloud kind of the new way. I mean, I remember the conversations around software defined data center, Brian, that was the, the holy grail for the on-premises yeah. activity. Yeah. We're just going to put some software around the storage, some, we got virtualization, we're done. Yeah. In comes the cloud, change the game on the Hadoop ecosystem, change the game on the on-premises ecosystem. So what has it actually done differently? Where is it going? Where is the, where's the game happening now for security? With kind of, because software's key to it. Yeah. Where do you see it? Yeah, we, we definitely see that, I mean, DevOps is doing such a great job in the public cloud. I mean, DevOps is just, they're, they're really doing a great job with the tooling, the teamwork, the you know, automation aspects, and traditionally security has always had a little bit of a lag to that, and in the cloud, that, that distance is much greater than it ever has before. You know, so the security teams, particularly what we do, which is network security, they are struggling. And uh, so we, we focus on providing them a really good platform for that. Um, and that platform includes a firewall. So we, we are building a, a cloud-based firewall uh, that goes in the customer's premise, and it's all structured around a controller. So we have a cloud-based controller that manages the firewall, gives them their central place to configure things, uh, and also that controller is very aware of the applications. So we're, we're keen on giving them that cloud-like experience with a vendor like us that comes over the top and can provide that capability as they grow. And the status of the product is what? Shipping? Yeah, service? It's yeah, a service? Yeah. What's to explain, yeah. the, explain, explain so, the product? So last week we did launch. Um, we, we announced our funding and we launched the, the availability of the product. Uh, and it is built as a SaaS. So the controller is a SaaS model. Uh, the customer does own the firewall. It's we're a software company, so the, the software goes into their, their, their cloud premise. Uh, and it has all the services that they need for protecting their network edge. So, what are the finer aspects, what are the real differences of network security in the cloud relative to traditional network security? Yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, what we saw was that uh, the enterprises tried to bring their uh, on-prem uh, vendor to the cloud, uh, built as boxes. And as you said, a software-defined environment, you need to bring uh, up something more. So what we do is uh, we bring the whole life cycle, and three core uh, elements of that is uh, visibility, that we do the inventory of the apps across your accounts, across your regions, across the cloud even. And se second thing is uh, how to plumb yourself in the path and um, how to build a unified enforcement solution, which is what we call a firewall. So, and built on three principles, uh, cloud native, uh, unification, and performance. And the, um, the, uh, the purpose of the company, when was the origination? When did you get the idea? Was it like you decided to start a company? What was the motivation? 
Yeah, the, the big motivation was that again, uh, we talked to a lot of customers and we saw the cloud is real, but uh, security is a big impediment to the public cloud adoption. And that's why we have this conference here as well. And then we noticed the network security is uh, it's not scaling in the cloud. We like the problem. Um, we found a team, our team has a networking background, security background, and a cloud background, and we like the problem, we like the team, and we said okay, let's attack this problem and go after the market. So the blocker is scale, right? Scale That's and agility. Okay, so mm -hmm. and, and, and a company like Cisco is not solving this problem? Yeah, so uh, what they did was uh, they tried to bring the appliances to the cloud. Uh, in a virtual form factor. So in, but in this new world of the cloud getting sprawled, uh, agile, apps in agile, you need kind of a con centralized control model to uh, secure this new logical perimeter. You, you can't bring appliance by appliance to secure the perimeter. You need to have a more you can't throw boxes use. at it. Yeah. Right. Whether whether it's physical or virtual. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That, that, that's the. I mean, what what Vishal is pointing out too is that I mean, one one aspect of what we do is that there's this super elegance to that day zero. You can just click a button and we deploy the gateway through the controller. And that gateway is your firewall. It's right there. I mean, it's almost instantaneous. So that even that level reflects the cloud native capabilities, and that that really gets people excited because the alternative is they they grudgingly have to go and you know get the license and build it and you know build their their functions to scale it and we we handle all that and, and I get why the, the 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 hardware box model doesn't scale yeah why doesn't the sort of software defined virtual appliance scale yeah yeah well I, so the, the the background is that they you know a lot of we, we see a couple of competitors I mean we see the, the classic kind of NG firewall players, and we see the cloud native capabilities. On the cloud native side, they, they, they made efforts to get into a virtual form factor, but it's still basically a, a box. It's, yeah. a, it's a VM form factor, and uh, it's, it's the instrumentation for it in a cloud environment, it, it's, it's not, it's subpar. And there's still a lot of kind of manual effort to get these things up and running, the plumbing, uh, it's not, I mean, the user experience is very poor. So it's really so bring it's your own box, as opposed yeah, to, Yeah, it happens a, to be a software plans, form yeah. factor. So network yeah. security, we, we heard yesterday at the partner event I attended, um, I heard the folks from Amazon up there, and they're getting serious about this, because they see the big enterprise opportunities, they want channel marketing, all kinds of new things, but network security kind of has that same vibe that DevOps had, which was, you're gonna, you have different consumption mechanisms, the customers are buying services, the, the pricing's different, the scale is different, um, the, you have policy, APIs, so it's very, very cloud native. Um, are customers ready for that? Or is your controller, Baltics controller, the, the gateway drug to the cloud, so to speak? Or, because certainly if all those things are changing, yeah. that means the old just can't be retrofitted to the new. You got to have something from scratch. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people are lifting and shifting beyond infrastructure as a service. That's easy to kind of replicate in the cloud, but when you get into some of the nuances of like the apps, like you mentioned, these new dynamics have to be pure play features. Correct. Is the your, are you a solution to that? Are you a gateway to that? No, yeah, so it's a controller, are, it's the controller, right? Yeah, so we are a solution. So for example, um, um, as I said, like we do the full life cycle. We, uh, our controller will discover all your apps. So an enterprise can have uh, apps across your accounts, across your uh, cloud even, and we uh, discover all the apps. Second thing is, uh, once you discover the apps, how do you put yourself in the path of security? And we do that automatically. And third thing is uh, enforcement. And for that, we have two core engines. As I said, a proprietary data plane, which we call a cloud firewall from Vaultix, and second is a cloud controller, which sees everything. So it's a global view of the entire enterprise infrastructure. In yeah. your marketing documentation, you talk about the trade-offs that people have to make between security and agility. Yes. That, that's always been a trade-off. Mm -hmm. Do you solve that problem, and if so, yes. how? Yeah, so uh, again, when we saw the uh, customer we talked to, and they, when they bring their virtual plans or appliances to the cloud, uh, then um, the two choices they have. One is that you know, apps are agile, but then uh, you cannot uh, secure using the appliance model, so you kind of insecure, or naked we call it. The other option is that, you must have heard, security slows me down. So you kind of become a secure and rigid. So every time you have a new app, a new VPC, you open a ticket, and you install the new uh, firewall. So what we are giving is a third option, because the, both the options I gave are possible today are bad choices. So we give you a third option, which is agile and secure. Mm. And that's what a uh, centralized controller and a Vortex firewall give you that option. Mm -hmm. Michelle, Michelle and Brian, I want to get your thoughts on um, 
why you guys? So I'll be the devil's advocate. You guys are just a startup, although startups are actually doing well in the cloud <laughs> environment because, <laughs> I'm being a skeptic, I'm trying to shoot my own narrative here. But the reality is you guys are a young company, you want to get the attention of the, the enterprise or customers. <coughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's the pitch? Why you guys? What, what's your backgrounds, pedigrees, the backgrounds you guys bring to the table, the software? Talk about why you guys, what's the differentiator? Yeah, so in terms of a team, I would say uh, there are three core uh, pillars, uh, networking, security, and cloud, right? So this team has built a billion dollar product line in, deployed in thousands of enterprises. And there were two core uh, expertise in the develop initially team was building fast performance pipelines. Second thing is decoupling the control plane data plane. I mentioned some of that. So those are some of the aspects. And then we built a team around network expertise, security expertise, and cloud expertise. Have they done it before? Yes, multiple times. Yes. How big's the team? Yeah. Team is right now 20 people. 20 people, and you just raised 14 million, over 14 yeah, million, Yeah, right? over 14 million we raised, yeah. and we announced that last week. Yeah, great, congratulations. Thank what you. are some of the backgrounds of the team members? So yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's Cisco, uh, Juniper, Palo Alto, Google Cloud. Um, Fortinet. Of, yeah, Fortinet. So it's, it's kind of that, that bench strength of security, you know, networking and cloud. And then um, I think the other component to that is that we all come from a, a common denominator of, of building, like hands-on building, shipping and marketing products that are transformative. Yeah. And so that, that's also exciting. So we see this and say, yeah. this is clearly transformative for this you know, big market opportunity to help customers, and we're, we're like ecstatic. You know, this, the cloud really gives, and it sounds like to me you guys have a real holistic systems view of the world. Yeah. Because, I mean, the cloud is essentially an operating system or you know, large distributed computer and decentralized with crypto and blockchain. Yeah. It's the system thinking that's interesting, right? You guys have like that, because to know the networks, you got to know the system. Yeah. And you get into the apps, you gotta, if you understand that middle layer that's developing with Kubernetes and containers, with cloud native, that's developing really fast. Yeah. So to see that end to end is more of a systems kind of mindset. A lot of customers yeah. are lacking that because they've outsourced everything to global SIs, and now they got to rebuild. Capital One CSO said, we're investing everything building. We're building more. So the yeah. builders, they're, they're systems yeah. guys. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, so basically we also noticed that a lot of the enterprises we talked to told that uh, there are a lot of point products. Uh, what we're building is a platform. So we're starting off with a few services, but it's a platform, so a holistic platform to do the full network security in the public cloud. And that's what we are working towards. What's the differentiator? Why you guys? What's, what's, the, what's the main value proposition that you guys bring to the table? Correct. What's the main, in it for the customer? Correct, the main value proposition is like uh, the team can build it, and second thing is we have taken a cloud native approach to this uh, problem. We are building for the cloud, and uh, we are building using the cloud native principles. So you just went through your race, so all these answers to the questions are fresh <laughs> in your mind. But Brian, you <laughs> talked about a large market. I mean, yeah. help us understand that because the market is enormous. It's like $100 billion or whatever it is, but yeah. it's so fragmented. There's so many different segments. How do you guys look at the TAM and then the serve market you know, for you guys that yeah. you can go after? Our, our goal is to protect their, their data center, this new data center basically everything that's going in and out of the data center uh, on, on the network side, uh, that's our focus. And, and we didn't mention some of these services, but we, in, in the product we're shipping right now, it, it does decryption of TLS traffic, it does firewall, it does intrusion prevention, it does WAF, so it has this and more. So there's this set of things that the, when we talk to the, the customers, they'll say, my, my blueprint for the cloud is like the prem. I have to stack all these things together. You know, risk and, risk and security says, you have to emulate that environment. It's worked well here, make it happen out there. And so that's where you see people getting a little bit amped up. It's hard to do that. And so we have a platform that consolidates that really well and knows the system level things that John was mentioning. Um, but it is covering a lot of space. Um, but we, we are very optimistic. We're, we're making good grounds with that. So, so it's a platform it. approach versus buying six products. Exactly, and so that consolidation really story connects really yeah. well. What's the most important story that needs to be told in the security industry today, that, in your opinion? What do you think is that, that customers should know about um, that the media and or the industry should be discussing? Yeah, the main thing is that uh, we talked about DevOps. The DevOps is very agile. So first, one thing is uh, they can't say security is slowing me down. So security has to be agile. Especially network security, uh, we have heard in the past, it slows you down. So that's, in the cloud world, the main reason people are going to cloud is because of the agility. And network security should not stop that. And that's the so one of the- So security is slowing down. Yeah, and we don't want that. 
It's so, becoming the bottleneck for mass adoption. I mean, we're seeing that more and more, and that's in that problem statement is it's there's a lot of ops angles to this. It's understanding like like multi AZ deploys and the transit gateway, the new you know the new transit gateway from Amazon, and how does this all work together? And we're on top of that from the network security perspective. What do you think about the show here? Amazon's inaugural reinforced. Not it's not a summit. AWS summits are regional reinvents. This is its own name, just like reinvents different for the customers reinvent, this is reinforce. Yeah. Pretty important, pretty strategic for Amazon Web Services. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we have been using the, all our cloud natives like Transit, um, their um, um, multi-AZ support, the S3 buckets. We use all the yeah. uh, infrastructure they provide. So it's always good to know what they are doing because like in the reinvent, they're now in Transit Gateway and we incorporate that in our product. So that's why we want to be uh, always ahead of what they're announcing and incorporate that and giving to our customers what they need yeah. as a whole solution. So Brian, you're running the product, yeah. Chief Product Officer. What's on the roadmap? <laughs> lots lots yeah. of good stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're very busy. <laughs> Feature <laughs> requests coming in. I mean, there's services, you can just bang them out, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Agile. Uh, you know, this I mean, I, I think is so <laughs> easy. 2,000 a, a year, Amazon does it, you could do sure. a couple sure. hundred a year, no yeah. problem. <laughs> there's probably a couple of things. One, one is that we, we will continue to expand to, to you know, other clouds because our, our customers want you know, that, but it's also just the, about more, more capabilities. So they're, they're seeing what we can do today, there's a lot that it can do, and they, they're, they're with us, like they're on the journey with us and saying we, we, we want more help. And uh, you know, the, the show is an example of that. I mean, cloud is becoming you know, more than a thing and security is getting emphasized, yeah. you know, literally it's emphasized here and so we're, we're happy to help our customers along. Well you guys are launched, what's the priority? I see hiring, what kind of culture do you have? What are some of your needs? Share, but put a plug for the company in real quick. Yeah, so in terms of the hiring, initially the most of the hiring was all engineering, building the product, because that is the core of the engine. But uh, now we are expanding into the go-to-market team. We have uh, sales, uh, marketing, and we're going to expand on both the sites, like uh, sell and build more and sell more. Yeah, get the revenue in. <laughs> get the revenue in. Congratulations, hot startup. Good job, well done. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks Thank you so much. Valtech's launching with new product out of stealth with funding, getting off the, off the runway here at Amazon Web Services reInvent's CUBE coverage. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. Stay with us for more after this short break.